Hi, I'm Steve and I'm just going to do a quick review on the Odysseus, uh, which is a repairable atomizer. And I got this from a Canadian site, I think it was gentlemensreserve.com. And I only ordered it from Canada just because I couldn't get it in England at the time. So the UK site didn't have it, which I think is uh, E-Sigs with a Z. Uh, is it London or something like that so I'll put a link anyway at the bottom and links and stuff like that what not after the video down in the description box and whatnot but yeah it is an absolutely amazing uh, repairable atomizer or, or a tank atomizer because uh, that's what it is really it's a tank and it's a repairable atomizer but uh, but yeah it, it vapes absolutely outstanding But yeah, as you can see, you get tons of vapor, tons of flavor. Uh, the actual like you've got a control valve in it. You had a control. You've got a control valve in your like your Iata, which is like the first one to the Odysseus. And uh, in the Iata, you have to actually take this top part off, and there's a little like bell in, inside, and you actually t open that up a little bit. You, t you just twist it, and it opens up, and then you have to put the top back on. So they were a bit of messing about with the Iata, whereas in the yeah, Odysseus doesn't have that, uh, it just has this your top like your drip tip, or so to speak. And all you do is you just twist it, uh, or you to open it up, or uh, you tighten it up, and uh, just now you would a screw or a nut or whatever, so, um, and it just tightens it up and like closes the actual um, flow of juice to it. So if, if it's like a bit flooded, you tighten it up all the way. You vape it, and uh, then if, then when you start getting a few dry hits, or as soon as you start sensing it's running a little bit dry, you just give it a couple of turns, and uh, and yeah, vape on it basically. So yeah, it's um, I just cannot really fault it. All these things, if I were gonna fault it. And it's just like sort of little things uh, which would be if you don't do your coil right you can get a really really intense throat it off it which if you like it's really ideal if you're cutting your nicotine down but I'm already on a quite a low uh, milligram strength nicotine so I don't really need to cut it down anymore but uh, and the, on, the only other thing is on the um, this square like mouthpiece does kind of um, pick up crap from round your mouth and stuff like that even if you're wiping your mouth all the time you've got a really clean mouth but uh, but yeah it just picks crap off off corner of your mouth and stuff i'm not saying like i've got loads of crap around my mouth uh, ready to come on here but i mean i've heard like, quite a few people saying yeah it does pick up some crap and it does like well more than a like i mean i find that you like curvy drip tips tend not to pick up like um crap from round your mouth and it sounds a bit crude and stuff like that but all plastic ones don't either do they but uh, but yeah i mean like they're not like bad things well, they just give it a quick wipe and stuff like that so but uh, uh, but yeah other than that it, it, you just i just cannot fault it it's absolutely immense it's, it's without a doubt the best uh, repairable atomizer on the market at the moment uh, in my eyes anyway i mean i think the bullies are like a really good repairable atomizer probably the second best one other than your uh, iate and um but yeah this one definitely is better than the iate so it's got the edge on everything i think so yeah it's best one of the best things um i bought in vaping uh, in the vaping world really should i say but uh, yeah, I can't fault it. I've got it on my precious LV2, so I can change my voltage and stuff like that. I can like when I've done my coils, I can stick it on my Proveri and um, and check out what ohms they are and stuff like that. But but yeah, if you, I mean, I'm not going to do a tutorial on 
uh, how to set up a coil and how to wind your coil because my, uh, my mate Scott Bonner, uh, I get to 69, he's done like a really, really good uh, tutorial and uh, basically a walkthrough on uh, how to do that so I don't think uh, anyone could do a better job than that so uh, if you are uh, wanting to know how to set up a coil you better check I get 69's um, video on the Odysseus out because you know it's um, I watched it and uh, it's really simple it explains it really well so can't go wrong there but yeah um, yeah watch it's just spot on You couldn't wish for um, a better repairable atomizer really, but yeah, that's all I'm just going to say on it, you know, I just thought I'd do a quick video and um, just saying it's a badass um, repairable atomizer. Uh, apparently he's doing another one, uh, and it's going to be a new improved uh, version of the Odysseus, so, uh, so we don't know what he's going to do there, but uh, yeah, I mean it looks uh, pretty good on the, um, the old LV2, it looks good on any device really, let me just whack it on... Um, I'll put it on a Prevera, not that they've got any battery power in this one, but, but yeah, it looks really good on that. And uh, that's it really, I'm not going to put it on anything else. But yeah, that's it, I mean, uh, I'm running out of things to say, aren't I? So, uh, yeah, I'll put some links down below and uh, whatnot, and you can check them out if you're interested in getting one of these. But um, yeah, I'll uh, catch you later.